Let's talk more about the time capsule. We've been talking about this all day. Oh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> we know it's got many of you excited as well. It is so cool. 1890, <laughs> that is the year the Greystone Mansion in North Knoxville was built. That is also our office. We are in it right now. Right. Over the years, hundreds of people have worked here, and a few renovations have been made to keep up with the times. Yeah, right now, matter of fact, one of those is going on right now, although you won't see any changes on air behind the scenes. We're doing some upgrades to the plumbing. As WAT.com reporter Austin Martin explains, during this latest upgrade, we found something that is truly a blast from the past. Yeah, but we found a time capsule. When crews tore out one of our walls, they found this box. It was dated November of 1991. So this morning, we invited former WATE staffers back to the Greystone to see what was inside. If these walls could talk, they'd have a lot of stories to tell. <laughs> I tried to get you fired a couple of times. <laughs> kind of like all the stories, those who worked here can. We started in uh, 1959. <laughs> Minus a stint with Uncle Sam, I had almost 52 years. Part of the story is changing with the times. This time, our building is getting a big bathroom upgrade. During that process, we started tearing out uh, a wall across from the old employees' bathrooms, and as the contractors were pulling some stuff out, they discovered a cavity inside the wall there where a window used to be. It turns out the walls can tell stories. During that process, the, he discovered a big, big box in there and called me. So we called them, former anchors. My name is Calvin Sneed. Uh, my, my time at the Anvil was uh, 1975 to 1985. Former engineers. I'm Bob Williams. I was chief engineer here. Well, I'm Steve Martin. Yes, I'm not a wild crazy guy. My name is Paul Milligan. Wow! <laughs> Paul! I did sound for a lot of years. All people who had committed their careers to storytelling came back to figure out a new one. Oh, I see something funny in here already. <laughs> Full of familiar faces. Oh, oh Snowbird! Like Snowbird, if you know, you know. Snowbird used to be a presentation, started in Nashville and kind of went nationwide and, and went out visiting school kids and promoted the weathercast. More memorabilia. My old buddy John Ward used to say, it's football time in Tennessee. And pictures of those who worked in our mansion. This is all of the staff who was here in 1991. Telling the stories of East Tennessee long before we did. Yeah, the box had two compartments in it. We're going to put all the stuff back in one of those, and then we're going to take more new stuff from today and put it back in for someone else to find in about three decades. That is cool. <laughs> that, that is, is cool. So It'll be great cool. when they go back and open up and see 2021 and 1991. Oh, so. and the stuff we can put in here oh from goodness. this last oh, year. The stories we can oh, tell. Oh, my goodness. Hey, for a look at all the goodies found today, you can head to our website, wate.com. Got it for you right there.